Hey everybody, how are you guys doing? So starting off, hey everybody, I'm Angel B. This is Angel B Designs. If you are new here, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Um, I want to start off by saying that this is a live, it's not a structured tutorial, um, like a step-by-step. -step. This is more interactive, things like that. I talk to the chat, I read the chat, all that good stuff. Um, we converse, we interact, we cackle, we laugh, we whatever you want to call it. That's what we do when we go live. If you're looking for something that is more, um, doesn't have all the talking, head on over to my channel. I have 300 tutorials. Um, at this point, half of them might be on bling. <laughs> um, but that's where you're going to get, you know, the structured tutorial without all the talking. Okay. So now that I got that out the way, hey, you guys, how are you? What are you guys up to? I got a lot to do today. Not a lot, but I think like a lot for me. I feel like on my lives, I might only do like one or two shirts, but I have like three shirts I have to do today because um, I will be in Long Beach this weekend for the Impressions Expo and I have to make some shirts. I like to wear um, my brand on my shirts, so I have to um, make a couple shirts to take with me. Um, so what are you guys doing? But we're going to be doing, um, I'm going to do two puff shirts. So I made a quick little Angel B Designs uh, file. It just it just says Angel B Designs because like I said, I like to wear branded shirts when I go to, you know, places like that. Um, and I'm going to do those two shirts in puff. And then I am going to also do a bling file. It's not going to be Angel B Designs. I'm blinging one of Patrice's files today, which is the created to create file that she had. It is linked down in the description box. Um, it's on her website. Um, and I'm going to bling this one created to create because that's also very on brand, I think. So really cute file. So I'm going to bling, I'm going to bling this one. I probably won't get to wear all three shirts, but I want to have them just in case. Um, so that's what we're doing today. Two puff shirts and one bling shirt. I do obviously already have my bling cut. I mean, my template already cut out, but I don't have my puff cut out yet. I wanted to show you guys how I set up my files to cut in Leonardo Design Studio and then also how I cut it. So I'm actually going to show you everything with the puff. And then while that's cutting, we'll brush in the uh, rhinestone template. Okay, so that's what we are doing today. I'm going to say hello to some of you. It is a lot of y'all in here. But I'm going to scroll up to the top. Hey, Marilyn, how are you? Yeah, I got to eat dinner. I went home and I ate dinner. And anytime I eat, because I, I don't eat fried food that often. But anytime I do, I have some fried catfish. Anytime I do, I get real thirsty <laughs> afterwards. So I got my Stanley with my tea. Um... But let me go ahead and go down this list. Hey, uh, where am I at? Ethel, how are you? Good evening. Hey, uh, Tisha, I got a lot of questions. I have a lot of answers for you, girl. What's up? Hey, Marlene, did you get my email? I know I'm super late, but your shirt went in the mail today from last week. Hey, Marta, how are you? And Patricia, hey, Cheryl, perfect prayer. Lynn, hey Didi, hey Precious, hey Dana, hey Derica, hey Patrice Boo, how are you? Hey Judy, I'm just going quick so we can get started. Hey Donzel. Hey, Mocha, Crochet, and Crafts. Hey, Porgy, how are you? Hey, Boss Lady Merch. It just got done snowing here um, in Detroit. We got, we didn't get too, too much. Maybe like four inches, something like that. It snowed, it started snowing 
Friday at two o'clock because my kids were out of school. So my kids been out of school since Thursday. Thursday was their last day and they're out of school tomorrow too because it's five degrees. It's five degrees here. So Friday, they were out of school because of the snow. It started snowing at two o'clock. They normally get dismissed at four and then they get on the bus and they don't get home until 4.30. But by the time four o'clock came around, it was bad. It was really, really bad. So because of that, they, um, they canceled school on Friday and then it snowed from two o'clock Friday to like seven o'clock Saturday. And then it snowed a little bit on Sunday too. And now it is like five degrees yesterday. It was like, I don't know. It was like in the evening, it was like negative one. So it's really cold. They canceled my kids' school for tomorrow too because it's so cold. So they they about to be out of school for a minute. Plus we just got back from break. All these little, all the school cancellations, y'all. It's, it's getting to me. It's getting to me. I need them to go to school. <laughs> um, but hey, Leslie, how are you? Bridget Porter, how are you? R. Murray, Elevate, hello, hello, hello. Hey, Delanda. Hey, Mary, can y'all hear this? Somebody is clicking a, their horn outside. Hey, Marla. Hey, Andrea. Hey, Paulette. Hey, Dems Boo. How are you? Hey, Louise. Okay, hat girl. I'm wearing a hat because my braids need to be taken down and I don't want to take them down yet. But this new growth looks really, really bad. Okay. So I'm going to be rocking a hat for, I have to take them out at least on Wednesday because I'm leaving on Thursday. So it'll be. They'll be taken out within the next couple days. Hey, LaShonda. Belisa. Hopefully I said that right. How are you? Would you mind sharing? Hey, uh, Just Country Girl. Would you mind sharing the font that you use for the word girl? On your girl, you got this white sweatshirt. I'm going to have to look it up and let you know. I am not, put a comment on this actual video when it's over, put a comment on the video and then I will give, I'll leave the comment underneath yours, the reply. Um, but I, ha I would have to look that up. I don't remember off the top of my head. What do you use to make sure your design is lined up correctly? On a t-shirt? I have a t-shirt ruler if you're talking about on the t-shirt. Hey, Nikki. Yes, Patrice. So I'm going to see Patrice. Um, Y'all, there's so many crafters going to um, the Impressions Expo. I cannot wait to see everybody. Hey, Denisha. Hey, Niall. I was thinking he was going to do a puff and bling on one shirt. I've been seeing some and was wondering how it works exactly. I have a um, file where I, I did puff and bling. Um, the file that I made, I don't, it's, I mean, it was like the first time I ever made one. Um, I think I saw Marilyn uploaded a video where she did a bling border around some HTV. I'll definitely put that, you know, in my things to try list. Hey, Donna. Hey, Karen. Hey, Tanya. Family is doing great. Everybody is doing great. Y'all, my son keeps trying to FaceTime me. Hey, Alma. Hey, Robin. Okay, I am going to scroll. I'm looking to see if there's any more questions. I really need help on where to get all my designs. It's been a long three years, and I'm really wanting my business to grow, but it's been hard. Okay, um, so for the most part, I would say like a lot of people on YouTube sell really, really good designs. Uh, me, Delanda, Patrice, Marilyn. Um, Eve, I know um, everybody has really, really good designs and they we all sell either on Etsy. I know I sell on Etsy. I think Delanda and Marilyn sell on Etsy. Patrice has a website. Eve, I believe, has a website as well and not Etsy. Um, but all of our links are 
on all of our videos. So if you go to anybody's channel and you just click on one of their videos, you'll find a link either to their Etsy shop or their website somewhere or one of their designs. So I would say definitely um, these are all the ladies that I trust as far as designs. You're going to get a beautiful design no matter who you purchase from. Um, so those are the ladies that I trust as far as designs. There's a couple of Etsy shops that I really, really like as well, um, who are not on YouTube. Um, but if you're looking for designs and you're going outside of like people that I just mentioned, I would definitely say, just check the reviews of the Etsy shop. If you see a design and, um, you know, it doesn't really have reviews or it doesn't really have, um, a whole lot of sales. That's not to say that they're, a, they're a bad, um, Etsy shop. It's just to say that, you know, you could be taking a risk with it is all I'm saying. Um, but definitely my suggestions would be like the ladies I just mentioned, um, myself, Delanda, Patrice, Marilyn, um, Eve, we all make beautiful designs. Anyone you're going to get a design, no matter who you purchase from. And like I said, everybody's got either an Etsy shop or a website. So it is trusted and secured. Your purchase, you're going to get it, I promise. And you're going to be happy no matter who you purchase from. But um, And then if you search for Etsy shops, search for Etsy shops that might have um, at least like one or two reviews, just to make sure that the files are easy to work with. That would be my suggestion to start. Okay, I'm going to see if there's any other questions I miss. It was negative six here in chat. Yeah, it's, it's bad. It's cold. Hey, everybody popping in. I'm kind of just scrolling down now, just seeing if there was any other questions. Okay, I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. Oh, I saw something about the Lions. Hold on, where to go? Because you know, y'all know we won yesterday. Okay. First playoff game in 32 years. You guys, I'm 33. I'm 33 years old, and the Lions haven't won since I was one years old. Since I was one years old. They have not won a playoff game. They won season games, but they have not won a playoff game in 32 years. Almost the length of how long I've been alive. Okay? There were grown men in uh, uh, downtown Detroit crying, okay? I saw something about the lines. I, I don't see the comment anymore. I think I missed it, but yeah. Hey, and yes, how about those lions? Yes. My dad and my brother were at the game last night because they bought uh, season tickets or something like that. I'm not sure how it works, but um, they were at the game last night. They said it was absolutely... I mean, just electric. They said the energy was off the chain in there. We won by one point, and we also won against Matt Stafford, who was our quarterback for 12 years. Okay. It was like the just the entire scenario and how it went. It was just so, so much irony. So much irony went into that win. Okay. But yeah, they have another game. They're playing um, again. The winner, I think, of tonight's game, they're playing on Sunday. And my husband and my son and my dad are all going to be at that game on Sunday. So, yeah. Yeah. I started to wear my Lions hoodie, but it was dirty because I wore it yesterday. But I, was, I started to wear it again. <laughs> um. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I see any of the questions. I'm not a full on like football fan or anything like that. It's just that, you know, I just know the significance behind that win. And I think they're going to win. So I think that everything comes in threes, right? Every that's, that's just what I believe. I believe everything comes in threes. So the Southfield, the um, school that I went to, Southfield High, won the state championship for the first time in like, oh gosh, I can't, it's been a minute, 20 something years. 30 something years. So the high school that I went to won the state championship for the first time this year, the football team for the first time this year in like 20 or 30 something years. Um, Michigan won the national champions championship. It's been a minute since they won. 
I don't know exactly how long, but it's been a minute since they won. Okay, so that's my high school. That's my college. Everything comes in threes. So I'm calling it. The Lions are winning the Super Bowl. Um, yes, the energy came through the TV. It sure did. Is there somewhere I can buy already cut templates? Um, I know Eve sells some of her templates already cut. I believe that it comes in a, um, um, a beginner's kit, like a bling beginner's kit. Um, I believe she, she might sell some templates in there. And then also, so Patrice just launched her new business adventure, which is the, um, craft -a bling um, Patrice, if you have a link to that website, go ahead and drop it. I know she said the February box is sold out um, and she was talking about maybe adding more boxes. I don't know if she decided to do that, but I do think the February box was sold out. But basically what her program is, is you sign up for a monthly subscription and every month she sends you um, some things to blink and you can get, uh, she's going to send you templates as well. So... She also sells. Um, that's how you get the pre-made templates from Patrice would be to join her craft a bling box um, program. Well, we had to root for someone other than Dallas and I live in Texas. It was embarrassing. Are you talking about that? That cheat against the Lions? Is that is that what you're talking about? That steal, that steal of a win against the Lions. Is that what you're talking about, Brandy? Yeah, it was pretty embarrassing, if that's what you're talking about. Okay, let me let me get to working. I've been on here how long and I ain't even started nothing yet. Um, you're welcome, Boo. You are always welcome. What is on your shirt? Um, this says peace, love, and kindness. Uh, my my youngest son, Levi, is autistic. Um, so this is the, the puzzle, the autism puzzle pieces in the shape of a heart. And then this says peace, love, and kindness. I know somebody's going to ask the colors. The outline is black diamond. This orange color is hyacinth. This is Peridot AB, uh, Citrine AB, Siam, and Aquamarine AB is what's on my shirt. This is, I did make this, this, uh, template. I don't think it's linked, but it is in my Etsy shop. Oh, you said the Green Bay versus the, yeah. I didn't watch that one. Okay, let me get to, so I, I need to show you guys how to cut the um the uh, the file that I made. <laughs> uh, I don't think I missed any other questions. If I missed your question, I'm sorry. Um, ask it again ask it again if I missed it, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to share my screen and we're going to go over to Leonardo Design Studio so we can get this, um, this vinyl cut. Okay. So this is, I'm in Leonardo Design Studio. Now, Everything that I'm doing can also be done in Cricut Design Space. This, this um, method that I'm doing isn't exclusive to Leonardo Design Studio. You can do this in Silhouette Studio if that's what you use. To be perfectly honest, I made this SVG file in Silhouette Studio, um, but you can use this in Silhouette Studio. You can do this in um, uh, Leonardo Design Studio, you can do this in Cricut Design Space. Now, each software may have a different word or different vocabulary for the mm -hmm. operation that I'm doing. However, for the most part, everything that I'm doing or everything that I'm about to show you right now, again, it can be done. I'm not going to show you how to make the template because I already, I mean, make the, um, the SVG because I already made it. I'm just going to show you basically how I cut it. Um, 
I know I got some questions on how to cut like a file like this to get it to line up um, because this pink layer here is going to be my glitter layer. And then this black layer here is going to be my, my puff. And then the word designs with the hearts is also going to be puff. Okay. But the way that I have this file. So for instance, if you have like my prayer changes things file is basically set up exactly like this. It just says prayer changes things. I basically did the same design, just saying angel B designs. Um, but it's essentially the same thing. And it's, so it's the same process, but the way that I, um, did it. So when you first get the file, if you are in, um, pretty much any software, go ahead and you would have to ungroup it. Um, now I'm going to first size it before I move anything, just because I want everything to be this, the same size. I want everything to size all at one time. And I think I added my table by accident. I did. Let me remove my table. There we go. Um, so for this shirt that I'm doing, I did, I was going to originally do 10 and a half, but I decided I'm going to do 10. So I'm going to do 10 inches. It's going to be 10 inches wide. And then the height is 5.551, even though I'm not selling this design. So this is for me, but this is for, again, just like, if you just have a design that's like this, similar to this. So again, so if you have my prayer changes things, um, file, this is essentially the process that you would use to cut it. Okay. Um, so this is the size that I want the file to be. Now, what I'm going to, this, all of, all three of these pieces are going to be different colors. Now, as you can see here, so the, the eye here, the little dot for it, I'm going to hit the undo button and then I'm going to move these two pieces because these aren't attached. So I would just make sure I highlighted everything, the word designs with the, the dot for the eye. I'm going to group it, but with this, while I have it highlighted, um, with script fonts like this, you want to just make sure that you weld. Okay. That is going to, um, remove like any cuts that you may have here or just like right where the, um, the letters connect. So where the S connects to the I, sometimes if it's not welded, you'll get like a little cut there or a cut there. You don't want that. You want everything to be one continuous cut. So all you have to do is weld it, which is what I just did. And then for this one, um, this is going to be two separate colors or two separate pieces as well. So because the way that the file is set up, and again, and this is if you're using my prayer changes thing file, the way that it's set up is all like it's set to the way I created it is for it to perfectly fit inside. So as long as you, when you're um, resizing this, as long as you resize it together, so both layers together, this puff layer, which is here, will fit perfectly inside the glitter layer, which is the outline, okay? You won't have to do any lining up or arranging or anything like that. As long as you size, if you're going to change the size, as long as you size both layers together, it'll line up perfectly, okay? Now, I need, I'm making two of these shirts, so I need two of everything. So I'm going to go ahead, highlight everything. I'm going to go over to edit and add copy. So that's going to give me two. I'm going to change this to a 12 by 24 map so that I can fit everything on one mat because except for the glitter. So I'm going to cut the two pieces of glitter, which is this pink outline and this pink outline, because they're going to be cut on different settings, um, different forces. Um, so the, the two pinks are going to be cut together. And then the, the four black layers are all going to be cut together because this is puff. This is puff, this is puff, and this is puff. This is glitter, and this is glitter. And that's how I'm going to arrange it on my mat. So, actually, I could probably do a 12 by 12. I'm going to see if I can do a 12 by 12. And I'm going to go to send design. Okay, so now it looks all mumble jumble, but that's okay. Uh oh, see, I didn't group it. Let me go back to design, undo, 
and I have to want to weld that come down here weld that and all right Now I'm going to send design and then I'm just going to go ahead and arrange it on my mat. So these are all going to be puff. Um, now with puff, we do have to mirror it. So I'm going to go ahead and check mirror. And these are all going to be different colors for this. Um, so I do need a little bit more space in between. So I'm going to switch this to a 12 by 24 mat. So this is going to be one color. This is going to be another color. This is going to be another color. And that's going to be another color. And then the way with this, the way that Caesar Romeo cuts, it cuts at the bottom. So like, even though this looks like the top, it's not technically, this is the top, but it's not, it's the bottom. I don't know. It's, it's like backwards. You get used to it once you start using it for a while, but technically this is the top. Okay. So this is how I'm going to layer my, my puff vinyl, my different colors on my mat so that I don't have to put in one color, cut it, take it out, put it in another color, cut it, take it out and do that four times. I don't want to do that. Now I'm going to go to my glitter and I'm going to do the same thing. These are going to be two different colors. So I'm just going to arrange them on the mat and I'm going to, you know, I'm just going to place my colors on the mat so it'll cut everything. But it does also have to be mirrored. Now, again, if you just popped in, the reason why I'm doing two separate mats is because this mat is going to be glitter vinyl. This mat is going to be puff vinyl and the force has to be different. So the puff, I mean, the um, the force for the glitter has to be stronger than the force for the puff. So that's why they're on separate mats like that. OK. <laughs> So I do have to go on over to my cutter. I can add in. I'm going to remove me. All right, let me know if you guys can hear me. I'm just looking at the chat to see. Did I miss any questions? I don't think I did. What is the font you're using for designs? Um, I think it's beauty. I think I'll have to double check. Ask me again when um, I'm done here and I'll, I'll check. I know it's in Silhouette Studio. Um, I want to say it's either beauty or biscuit. It might be biscuit. I don't know. It's either beauty or biscuit. I got to I got to check. But ask me again when I'm all done here and I'll double check. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is start layering my vinyl on my mat, which I need my longer mat.
Now, I know I'm using a strong grip. Y'all, this is an old strong grip, so it's not actually strong grip, okay? It's like, <laughs> it's about standard grip now because it's old. See, it's not even all that sticky. So, yes, I'm using strong grip, but technically it's dirty. It's messed up, so it's not that. If, if you have like a brand new strong grip mat, you don't need this for puff. You can use a regular standard grip mat for puff vinyl. Um, like I said, mine is old and it's not that sticky. So that's why I'm using it. Okay, so I'm going to layer my first color. So for the first shirt, these are the colors I'm going to use. I have brown glitter. And then I have these two kind of tannish color. One is darker than the other. One is darker than the other. Um, I think this one I'm going to use for the word design. So And then I will show you the other colors I'm using in a second. Where's my exacto knife? So for the first word, designs, I'm just layering it onto my mat and I'm gonna cut the piece I need. I use my ruler and my exacto knife. And then I'm going to take my vinyl back up. All right. And then the next piece, I'm going to scoop this one up just a little bit. This one is 6 to 11. Okay, so then my other colors, I'm using gold confetti. Um, this kind of I'm yeah, I'm trying I'm trying something different. Gold confetti, this lime color, and then this um gold metallic. And the reason I'm doing that is in this gold confetti, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's got some green in there. So that's why I'm going with these colors. And it's going on an olive shirt. But I think my puff color is going to be the line. Uh -oh. So same thing. I'm going to line this up exactly how it's lined up on my computer. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut my piece. Hey, everybody popping in. Hey, everybody watching. Hey, everybody in the bushes. I'm going to go back through the chat and see if I miss any questions in one second. Once I get this cutting, I just want to get this layered on my mat and get it cutting. Okay, so those are designs. Now I'm going to do the other ones, which is the angel bees. And this one's going to start at 12, end at 17. Where did you get that brown glitter? Um, I got it from Michaels. Um, I got it from Michaels. It is a Caesar uh, glitter. So you can go to Heat Transfer Warehouse, Atlanta Vinyl, 
Um, I have a link down below for the Atlanta vinyl. You can get it from there. Anywhere that, um, you know, sells Caesar. Twenty three is the last one. Now this metallic, I think I might have to do a test one, y'all. Metallic puff for me has always been a little fussy, so I may do a test, um, a test press prior to. Prior to pressing it. With the welding, did that break your design down? What do you mean? The welding, all it did was um, when I when I welded it, it just made sure that one, my script font, there was no like individual cuts. And then when I welded the other ones, it just made sure that all of my letters, because um, I think, no, they're not touching, but they are grouped. So you can either do weld or you can do group. Um, if you have different colors and you hit weld, that's not going to work. You would have to do group, but because it was all one color, that's why I did the, um, the weld. It was just quicker. But weld, group, um, or if you are in, I think, Cricut Design Space, it's attached. Y'all haven't used Cricut Design Space in a long time. Y'all be asking me Cricut questions, and I'm like, you you gonna have to defer to Delanda, baby, because I don't know anymore. <laughs> baby, I don't know. I, it's been a while since I've been in Cricut Design Space, you guys. I mean, like some months. So the last time I tried to get in Cricut Design Space, they wouldn't even let me get in there. So I was just like, yeah, I'm done. Okay, so I got to turn my Romeo to the side. Hold on one second. Okay, so I have to turn my Romeo to the side on the side of my table like this. So I don't know if you guys remember a couple lives ago, I couldn't figure out why my Romeo, like, it kept going off to the side, like slanted, like it would cut, it would like cut like this. So it would start off straight and then it would end and it would be like this. And I couldn't figure out why. Um, I don't remember who it was, but somebody suggested that it might have been because my mat was hanging off. Because if I turn my Romeo this way, then my mat hangs off the table frontwards and sometimes backwards. So they suggested to stabilize the mat. So I don't have an extension for my table right now and I don't have any space to go backwards because the wall is right there. So when I'm cutting long projects like this, I turn my Romeo to the side. All right, and this is going to be Okay. Okay, I also do area tests. Whenever I do my, um, and I'm gonna see if I can pull up my skirt so I can show you guys. Um, I do area tests as well, just to make sure. Exit so low. Why won't okay? Let me try this. It won't let me. Okay, well, whatever. I'll just have to do it this way. I don't know why it won't let me do it. Um, but basically, 
Um, I do an area test whenever I have this much vinyl because I cannot afford any of my vinyl to get cut weird or whatever. So if you were to, like, if I were to do an area test cut, an area test right now, it's going to test the full, it's going to go around basically everything like this. I want to make sure that each piece, like designs is going to be cut on that first piece of vinyl. This designs is going to be cut on the second piece of vinyl. So the way that I do that, I'm going to select the top three and I'm going to hit delete. And then I'm going to hit area test. And yes. And then as you can see, it just did. I don't know if y'all saw it. I don't know. I was in the way. Let me move out the way. So I'm going to hit area test again. And as you can see, it did it for that first piece of vinyl. So now I know designs is going to cut on that one piece of vinyl correctly. Now I'm going to come up here to the top and I'm going to hit undo. Now I'm going to select this one, delete, select these two, delete. And now I'm going to do area test. And I want to make sure this is going to cut on that second piece of vinyl. And it is. So now I'm going to come up here, press undo, undo. I'm going to delete these two. Now I need to make sure this is going to cut correctly on that third piece of vinyl. And it is. I'm going to hit undo, undo. And then I'm going to delete all three of these. Area test. And it's going to cut that fourth piece. Now I'm going to hit undo. And I'm not moving anything because I just tested it. I don't want to move anything because we know we're good. Now I'm going to go ahead and send to cutter. And it's going to cut all four of my pieces. When that comes out, I'm going to switch this to a 12 by 24 or a 12 by 12. So I'm going to go ahead and switch this to 12 by 12 because I don't need that much space. And then I'm going to put this on this mat. This is going to be my glitter pieces. Y'all, if I missed any of your questions, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to get through this. Just ask them again. I won't be irritated, I promise. Okay. So it sounds like that is done. And now I'm putting glitter on the standard grip, but this standard grip is new. This is a new mat. <laughs> That's so backward. All right. So we are doing brown and the glitter layers are going to be brown and um, this gold confetti. I've never used this gold confetti. I was in Michael's today. Um, just kind of looking around and I saw it. So I was like, oh, I'm going to go ahead and try it. Oh, I have a story time for you guys. Okay. Like I said, I was in Michael's today. Now, I'm telling y'all this. And I, the girl that, you know, I experienced this with, I asked her. 
could I could I use this as a story time? She said yes. We had a nice little laugh about it or whatever, but <clears throat> I don't know if this has happened to anybody else, any other YouTubers. But I was in my house today. And you know how you know you're walking and you you see somebody and you just not not even that you know you don't know this person at all you make eye contact with them and you just kind of you make eye contact with somebody and then you do your little grin or your little head nod and you keep it moving right so that's what happened so i see i seen this lady um i was in michael's i was walking down the aisle her and i made eye contact i grinned or i smiled she smiled we both kept it moving. About a minute later, I'm in the t-shirt aisle. About a minute later, I see her walk past the t-shirt aisle and she looks down the aisle that I'm in. Didn't think anything of it. We made eye contact, con eye contact again. She kept going, didn't think anything of it. I'm about to switch this real quick. Okay, I just need to do a quick area test. Make sure it's lined up correctly. Yep. Delete that. Okay. And we're good. I'm going to go ahead and cut this. Okay, so anyways, so we're, I see her again, and um, don't think anything of it, um, about a minute later, so she walks past the aisle that I'm in, the t-shirt aisle that I'm in, she walks past the left side, she goes down, we make eye contact, I don't think anything of it, but then she comes, like, 30 seconds later, I see her again, but this time she came up the right side. So she went down the left side. She must have cut around and came up the right side. So now she's coming up the right side of the aisle, walks past the aisle. I see her. And now, now this is the third time I'm seeing her. So now I'm like, okay. Okay. Okay, girl. And then like, again, 30 seconds later, I see her again coming down the left side. So now I'm like, okay, what in the world? Why does she keep walking past? Does she need help or something? Like, does she think I work here? I'm not sure if she thought I worked there. Like, I didn't know. I just know I kept on seeing this same girl over and over. So she do that like, like two or three more times, like not even joking. Then like the third time, she actually comes into the aisle on the left side. I'm at the end of the aisle on the right. She comes down on the left side and stops at the other end. And she's looking at her phone. And she looked at her phone. And then she looked at me. And she looked down at her phone again and looked at me again. And I'm literally just standing there kind of looking at her out the corner of my eye. I'm not even, I don't even know what I'm looking for at this point anymore. Completely don't forgot what I was looking for. Um, I'm going to go back over to my table so we can weed this. So I'm going to... Stop share. Okay, can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? I know my lighting is like weird now over here. Come on, light. Okay, so anyways, yes, Dems like, 
What are you doing? Are you watching me? Like, do you think I work here? What is going on? So she's in the aisle with me now. And she looks down at her phone. She looks at me. And at this point, I'm standing there like I have my phone in my hand, but I'm like looking at her like this. Like, what are you doing? So I start to, I grab a shirt in front of me and I turn to walk this way. And I hear her go, excuse me. And I'm like, mm -hmm. yes. And she goes, are you Angel B? I said, girl, I thought you was trying to size me up or something. Okay, please. Y'all don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. I said, yes, I'm Angel B, girl. You could have asked me that down there when you first saw me, girl. Don't Y'all don't be scared, okay? Don't be scared to ask if I'm Angel B. Yes, I'm Angel B. I don't bite. But don't scare me like that, okay? Because now you creeping me out. And we laughed about it for like five minutes. And she was completely harmless. But it was still like, I'm like, girl, I'm about to run. What? I was about to take off running. Exactly. Don't be scared and to turn around and scare me. Because, girl, I will run. I don't care. I'll be in the gym now. But yeah, she was, she was, she said she was trying to make sure it was me before she said something. I was like, girl, I was about to call security on you. Don't do that. Now I'm scared. But yes, if y'all ever see me in public, I promise I don't bite. But please don't circle around me because I will get scared, okay? And I will just run. <laughs> Is that girl, Delanda, okay? I'm like, girl, I'm scared. Like, you legit scared me. Like, I am a regular human. And I'm trying to figure out why are you circling around me? But yeah. I haven't even started brushing yet. How long I've been on here? An hour. Okay, I'm not doing too bad. I need my um. What were you measuring on your laptop with the ruler? Oh, I was measuring out my vinyl to cut because I wanted to um do as little cuts as possible. So I was measuring um the pieces of vinyl to cut. Hey, Uni, how are you? Let me scroll up. I'm trying to see, did I miss any? You guys, if I miss anybody's questions, go ahead and um, ask it again, because I'm sitting down now. I got the, um, the chat up. I can see it now. So if I missed your question, I'm sorry. Just go ahead and ask it again, because I'm looking at the chat now while I weed out this vinyl. <laughs> our son is a gamer he had a kid run up to him in public and scared him yeah <clears throat> I mean if people just like like there was one lady um she saw me on Michael's and um I was in an aisle I was looking at some Caesar glitter I was in the Caesar aisle and actually, I was looking at their press. I'm like, <laughs> their press is so small. And I was actually, because that was the first time. I think that might have been the first time I saw it in person. And it was so small. And I was looking at it. And uh, she walked past the aisle. And she stopped. And she went, Angel B. See, that, that doesn't scare me. That's okay. I'm okay with that. 
I'm perfectly fine with that. But that's circling around me like a vulture. I will run. Okay? Don't do that. I think that's everything. I cannot see. There we go. Okay. That's the first piece. What size is the pink offset? So when I made the file, I did, um, I think it was 0.125 around. I think. This brown glitter is so pretty. There's this, there's this lady. <laughs> there's, <laughs> Ooh, there's this lady at Michael's. She works there. Mm. Good night, Shonda. I've been scared too much of Michael's and Pablo. I haven't been there in months. My anxiety. Girl. <laughs> Yeah, I'm awkward too. I'm actually very, very quiet. If you've ever met me in person, I'm very, very quiet. And, you know, it's not just like online. Like people thought I would just be quiet online. I'm not. I, I am quiet in person as well. I'm just a quiet person. Way more quiet than Patrice. I'm way more awkward than Patrice. I promise you I am. Anyways. The workers what, girl? Oh no, I was about to say. Oh, that's what I was about to talk about. One of the workers. So there was this lady, my local Michaels. Obviously, I've been going there for a long time, and this lady started working there maybe I don't know six months ago, something like that. And um, I was in there buying. No, this had to have been longer than that. Um, I was in there buying some of the Glowforge acrylic. It was when they first, first had it. So that actually had to have been a little bit longer than that. It had to have been longer than six months. But this was when they first started selling that Glowforge acrylic at Michael's because I bought some to test out. And um, she asked me, um, did I have a Glowforge? And I told her, yes. And she was like... Um, she said I was lucky or something like that. She said I was lucky and she was like, I need to start doing YouTube because I want to get some of this stuff for free. Now, mind you, I had never told her that I did YouTube or anything like this. I think this was just like, it was just like an, you know, an ironic situation that she had said that. So she was like, I need to start doing YouTube so I can get this stuff for free. Like the, like these other YouTubers. And then she goes, before I could even say anything, she goes, but honestly, I think they be lying. They don't be getting none of this stuff for free. They just be promoting a company and trying to <laughs> trying to uh, sell us stuff. They don't be getting none of that sugar, honey, iced tea for free. And I was about to say something. And I was like, hmm. I was like, oh, well, you know, I don't know. And I just, I didn't even say anything. And I just left it at that. Every time I go in there, since then, she has something to say about YouTubers. Not even joking. She always has something to say about YouTubers and them lying about getting stuff for free. The last time I saw her, which was like maybe two weeks ago, um, 
she asked me what I did. <laughs> she asked me what I did. Y'all, I'm not, I'm trying not to laugh because I'm going to laugh so hard I'm going to start crying. She asked me what I did for a living. And when she asked me that, I was like, do I lie? This lady has been bad-mouthing YouTubers for six months. <laughs> but I was like, no, I'm just not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I'm not. I was like, I do YouTube. I'm not even joking. She dropped the scanner. The little scanner. She dropped the scanner. And I just stood there and looked at her. I said, I'm a YouTuber. She was like, please tell me you're lying. I was like, I'm not. Mm -mm. Angel B Designs, you can look me up. Y'all, she bagged up my stuff quietly. I ain't seen her in two weeks. I don't know if she quit. I hope she didn't quit because of that. But I ain't seen her in two weeks. But as soon as she asked me, I was like, I feel like all the color had left my face. Because I'm like, this is about to be so awkward. Because I'm not about to lie to this lady. But she has been talking junk about me subconsciously for six months. <laughs> I got some Michael's stories, boy. I don't even. I go to other Michael's now. I don't even go to the one down, you know, that's down the street from my office because that's where all the shenanigans be happening. Marilyn, I swear, my husband, every time I would leave out of there and I would tell him that, he would be like, I feel like she's playing in your face, Angel. And I was like, what you mean? He was like, I think she knows who you are and she's waiting for you to say something. And I'm like, well, that's petty. I don't know. Yeah, that's what my husband said. My husband said he he felt like she was playing in my face, like she knew who I was. I mean, like she was like YouTubers be lying. What I'm supposed to say? No, we don't. I don't know. I was just like, okay, girl. Mm -hmm. But yeah. <clears throat> I'm almost done. I just got the two words uh, designs left to weed. I still have to brush in and then <clears throat> brush in some stones and then we will press everything. This vinyl weeds. Oh, I didn't tell you guys my settings. So I cut my puff on easy weed. And I add 10 to it. So I think if you have a Caesar Romeo or a Juliet, I think the standard, if you uh, push easy weed, I think it was either whatever the force is, I leave it on that. So it's either 10 or 13. Whichever one it is, I, I don't touch that. I leave it on whatever the force it is for easy weed. And then the, um, I'm sorry, the speed. I leave it whatever speed it's already on. Like I said, it's either 10 or 13. I can double check though before we get off of here. And then the force, I think is 15 on easy weed, but I cut it up to 25. Um, and for me, this, and, and, the thing about the Romeo and the Juliet is that 
my pressure and your pressure could be totally different, even though we're cutting the same material, because it really all depends on how far out you have your blade. Um, and it also depends on if your blade is newer or uh, sharper or duller it just it just depends on your blade altogether so for me the um the preset settings i always have to kind of cut them up at go up at least 10 um for the force so if it's on 15 i have to put it on 25 if it's at 30 i have to put it at 40 um but it doesn't cut through. So I added 10, the, the easy weed preset, I added 10 to the, um, to the force and it, it cut beautifully. Okay. I'll weed this other one with you. I'll, I'll put my camera down so you can see, but as you can see, it doesn't cut through. And, um, I don't know if you guys can see, but because we welded it, there's no cuts in between the letters. That's what the, um, the welding does when you have your script fonts. I will put this down so you can see how it weeds. Um, and this is, like I said, I added 10 to the, um, the force. I just noticed that when I kept it on the pre on the, whatever the preset was, it just, it wasn't cut enough. Uh -oh, I just dropped all my vinyl. Like the pressure wasn't strong enough. But as you can see, it weeds beautifully. And again, this is completely dependent on my blade, right? So my blade could be sticking out farther than yours or, you know, yours further than mine. So this is just mine. But you always have to do test cuts with yours and you may have to do some adjusting. But this is how mine weeds on. I'm pretty sure that speed was 13. 13 speed and um, 25 force. I almost cut my finger on that one. I forgot for a second I was using an X-Acto knife instead of my weeder. This this font right here, um, I will check right now since I'm sitting here. It's either Biscuit or Beauty. Let me go into Silhouette Studio and check. <clears throat> Where is um waiting for that to pull up? And then we are gonna get started on brushing. I'm doing every layer a different color. Now, the way that um Patrice's file, the created to create file, the way that it came in, crew the outline and then one of these were connected but i disconnected mine because i wanted to do all different colors and create the middle part created part was also connected to one of these colors as well that's how it you know came in but you can do it however you want you can leave them connected you can disconnect them okay let's see what that was yes I also added glyphs, and honestly, I think I'll show you really quickly how to add the glyphs. Okay, so it was beauty. I'm going to share my screen so I can show you how to add the glyphs. Present, share screen. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm in Silhouette Studio. Um, hmm, I don't know. So either this is a Silhouette Studio font or I got it from Creative Fabrica. I can't remember which one, but it's called Beauty is the name of this font. And then I added the glyphs for the D and the S. And how you do that is you select your font and then you go over here to this G. And then I just picked, I think I scrolled all the way down for this one. And then they have these, um, they have hearts on the letters. So I wanted to use this D and then I wanted to use the S, which is right there. Okay. And then what you have to do is delete that D and select this D. And then same thing with the S, delete that S and add in this S. And that's how you get the glyphs. And then obviously, you know, you have to um, weld everything so that you don't have those little cuts. Okay. Hey, everybody popping in, everybody in the bushes. Love that green. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't know where the rest of the people are, Patrice. Oh. <laughs> um, my issue is with spacing. Sometimes I forget to allow space for the puff. When you're layering, what do you mean? No problem, Missy. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start brushing in these stones. I'm not sure how I'm feeling about this color choice, but I'm going to go with it. I'm going to go with it. I need my painter's tape. Also, I don't believe I have enough KTM mask, so I may have to use the Frisco brand. And if I do, then it just, it is what it is. It is what it is. I'm going to start, well, I'm going to turn this over. So I like to brush, like, I don't know how to explain it, like the bottom, I guess. So I'm going to start with create it. And that's not big enough. What did I think I was doing with that piece of tape? Is that just in the business edition? I'm using the business edition, but I know that um, you can use, um, you can, you should be able to do that in the basic, right? The only thing you won't be able to do is export it. So if like, if you don't have the business edition, I don't think you can export the SVG if you make it in design um, studio. Um, Beauty is on Creative Fabric. It looks like there are multiple fonts called Beauty. So look for the one with the hearts. Okay, so Marilyn said Beauty is on Creative Fabrica. So if you don't have Silhouette Studio at all and you use only Cricut Design Space, you can get the font from um, Creative Fabrica and you can do the same thing in Cricut Design Space. I, just, I wasn't sure if Beauty was from Creative Fabrica or if it was a Silhouette Studio font. But Marilyn just cleared that up for me. Thank you so much. I'm using Orem Dorado on the outline of Creative, and I don't even have my brush over here. Pressing shouldn't take us that long at all. It's just the setup process, the brushing, and you know, getting everything set up. But once it's all set up, everything goes pretty quickly. Oh. 
Has anybody else made this file, the creative to create? I know she had it in bling and did she embroider it? I think she embroidered it or maybe she made a patch or maybe it was both. I'm not going to hold you up, y'all. When y'all get to talking about embroidery, sounds like y'all are speaking Japanese. I don't know nothing about nothing in the world of embroidery. It looks fun. So if I were to get into embroidery, I would probably enjoy doing things like, and I'm not even sure what it's called, but the whole where you kind of take the glitter and then you embroider around it so that the glitter sticks to the shirt. I would like to do stuff like that or like the pattern, like how um, Katrina from uh, Katrina's Graceful Creations, how she does her prey hoodie with the pattern and then embroiders around it. I have no idea what that process is called, but I, if I were to ever get into embroidery, I would probably do stuff like that, like with glitter, um, with patterns, with, I don't know, shimmery stuff, shimmery fabric. But I keep saying if I ever get into embroidery, that will be the day I really have to start taking orders because embroidery is expensive. Those machines are expensive for sure. Hey, everybody popping in. How are you guys? I did it in HTV created to create. Oh, okay. She got an HTV too? Huh. <gasps> Patrice. I didn't know that. I would have did this in Puff and did different colors for all the little sections. Oh, not my braids taking me down. Let me move. Let me flip them out the way. Oh, my gosh. All right, I just forgot what I was talking about. Oh, the puff. I could do this in puff and do the different sections in different colors. Y'all have so many files to do because now I want to do that. I have to do Delanda's file. I want to do it in all. I want to do the brick, the puff, and the rhinestones. I got to do Marilyn's me versus me. I think that's everything. Um, but yeah, I have so many projects I need to do. Oh, you said that's called applique? Okay. Yeah, applique. That's what I would do if I ever did embroidery. I would probably really enjoy doing that because I think it's, you know, that stuff is so pretty when I see other people do it. But I just, I need, I need the time and I need to be able to make the commitment to it because like I said, if I ever got into embroidery, that's something that, oh, my top is in off. That's something that, you know, I would want to sell. I wouldn't want to get into embroidery without being able to make the commitment to sell physical products. It's just so expensive. I mean, unless, you know, somebody wants to gift me an embroidery machine. But I don't know how many companies are doing that. Otherwise, if I have to pay for it, I'm going to have to... I gotta make my money back somehow. Okay. I gotta go get my kids to get mask.
Y'all, I'm out of um KTMS. So we about to YOLO it with this Frisco brand. It's, it's gonna work. It's gonna it's gonna stress me out a little bit, but it's gonna it's gonna work. And I'm gonna order some as soon as we get off this live. So it should be it should be here when I get back from Long Beach. Okay, Frisco. Frisco wants to act right today. We'll see if all the layers work that, you know, come up that easily. All right. This one is done. So now I'm going to do the next layer. I just use this piece of tape to kind of cover the holes on the, you know, next layer so that my, um, rhinestones don't go in there. <clears throat> okay. So I did Orum Dorado. I'm going to do Champagne AV. Y'all, I'm not sure about these colors today. I feel like my colors have been off lately. I don't know. Like I haven't been in love with my color choices. But <clears throat> for today, like all of the colors that I decided to go with, like if, um, I don't know if you guys noticed, but like the puff, all the colors were like a um, neutral palette. And that's because I'm taking them with me to Long Beach and the way that I pack, I try to pack a, in ways to where, you know, it'll be as, as light as possible. So I try to pick when I'm choosing my outfits, I try to pick a color pattern or a color scheme that like my, all of my jewelry can um, match with. So that I don't have to pack gold and silver jewelry. I only have to pack like gold jewelry or silver. And then all of my outfits will match the gold or the silver. I only have to pack one or two pair of shoes. Like one pair of shoes plus the pair that I wear to the airport. And then all the outfits will match those two shoes. So I don't have to pack a whole bunch of shoes. So I'm going with gold. So that's why all my colors are like colors that'll match gold jewelry, essentially. Is anybody crafting tonight? What are you guys working on? I hate brushing my stones to the side. I hate that. I hate that. I hate that. I hate that. I don't know. I might have to go back to the card stock.
Does anybody have um, any like specific questions about bling? I mean, not bling, um, puff. I know I was getting a lot of, uh, not a lot, a couple of messages about just not being able to get the puff to puff right. Oh, I, I was watching. So, Patrice, I was watching your live earlier today because I didn't get to finish watching it the other night. Um, And I saw that you had asked what my favorite, it was either you or Marilyn or you and Marilyn asked what my favorite brand of puff was. And um, I ha I was already gone. I had already left. But um, my favorite brand is um, Atlanta Vinyl, which is linked down below. Um, I've tried a couple other brands and they're okay. They're not bad. It's just that to me, um, the Atlanta Vinyl to me has been less like it's less fussy than some of the other brands. Um, and their, their colors, as far as like time and temperature and the amount of colors that use the same time and temperature seems to be more consistent with Atlanta vinyl. So all of their, like, all of their neon colors are basically have the same time and temp. All of their basic, you know, solid colors have the same time and temp. All their metallics have the same time and temp. It doesn't, you don't have to break it down into every single color as much as you do with some of the other brands that I've worked with at least. And I haven't worked with all of them. So, you know, obviously I can't speak on every single brand, but that's just. And then there are some I said I would revisit. Like Caesar, I definitely need to revi revisit Caesar vinyl. Just because I'm curious. Um, now that I'm kind of a little bit more comfortable with Puff, I want to revisit the Caesar brand. I just have to purchase some. Or maybe I can get them to send me some. I don't know. Us YouTubers be lying about getting free stuff, y'all. They be lying. I'm just trying to get you to buy Caesar Puff. Even though I don't use it. I wonder if she looked me up. And started watching. <laughs> and started watching. My channel. <laughs> oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. <sighs> I was going to try to do. The Angel B designs, y'all. I'm not as fast as Patrice with the with the rhinestone designs. Okay, I can't do the Angel B designs that quick. Not by Thursday. Can't do it. So I'm gonna just have to rock with the puff. How about trying vinyl on tool 3D super puff? What is that? Tool 
3D Super Puff. You know, I'll give it a try. Will the HTV run auto press work well with the puff? I haven't gotten it to be able to work with the puff. Um, I know, I believe Eve did it the other night and she added another mat, an extra mat. Um, now that I've kind of found a method that really works for me, I haven't, um, you know, tried to do other things. Maybe, you know, I'll just do a full on video about puff. You know what? I'll do that because a company has sent me some puff they wanted me to try out and I'll do it with the HTV Ron and see if I can get it to work. And it'll be like a two for one video. Um, but now that I found the method that I use with my, my standard heat press and adding just the pressing pillow, you know, I haven't really gone back to trying the HTV Ron, but the first time I tried it, it, it didn't work for me. Ooh, hold on. This Frisco ain't Frisco ain't like the other one frisco Is it possible to do a rhinestone border on the outside of a design and puff finals on the inside? I'm sure it is. I need to go and watch Marilyn's um, video. She just uh, recently posted a video about adding a border to an HTV design. And um, I got to watch it so I can learn how to do it. Marilyn, post the link to that video. I'm sure that you could do that with puff. The way that she did it. I think she just used regular HTV, but I'm sure you could um, do the same thing with Puff. I've seen someone use metallic Puff. In this I have some metallic gold I'm using today. I'm going to have to do a test Puff. I mean, a test press on it because um, metallics are fussy. At least they have been for me. All right. Now, I'm not going in any particular order with these because I'm not sure what the order is. But I'm going to use Topaz AB, Crystal Golden, and Gold Orange AB. I don't know if I want to use this Gold Orange. I'll save the Gold Orange for last because I'm not sure I want to use that one yet. Marilyn, you haven't seen the metallic puff? I just cut some gold. Gold metallic. So we'll see. See how it does. Angel, how can I enlarge the design that you were wearing? I have it, but I would like for it to be bigger because it's a 4X. Um, you can't resize it. Oh, who had the hack? Was it Eve? Typically with rhinestone designs, once the design is made, you can't um, make it bigger um, just because it will stretch out the holes and then you won't be able to brush them in. Was Eve's... Um, He's live about the, the hack making them bigger. Was she using holographic vinyl or was she actually making this, the templates bigger? I didn't see the whole, the whole live. But unless Eve talked about a hack, I, I don't believe you, you will be able to make it bigger. The size with rhinestone templates, the, the size is the size. I know in one of her lives, I don't think it was last night. It might have been last week she was talking about a hack to make it bigger. But I want to say she was using the, 
the holographic. I'm pretty sure she was using the holographic vinyl and not an actual template. They have 3D metallic super puff. Where's a good place to buy rhinestones? Girl, it is linked in my in my description box. Uh Glam Gotti. So I purchased my rhinestones from Eve over at the Baby's Booty, which is the name of her YouTube channel. Um, so she has two options of buying rhinestones. You can either participate in the buy-in, which is once a month. It begins January 25th of this month. Does anybody have the dates? I don't have my magnet in front of me. Um, but it's once a month. Typically, she has them towards the end of the month. Um, and basically it's a buy-in. So what you do is, I'll um, explain what a buy-in is. A buy-in is basically when one person, this person being Eve, she's basically going to place one large order to China for everybody to be able to get rhinestones at wholesale price. You'll go to her website. You will pick the color rhinestones that you want. You'll pick the sizing that you want. Then you'll place your order, make your payment. And then once the buy once the buy-in is closed, typically it's I believe seven days, seven, eight days, something like that. Once the buy-in is closed, she's going to take everybody's order and place one big order to China so that we can receive the wholesale pricing. And then she waits for China to send her the rhinestones. Once she gets them. Um, she breaks them down into packages for everybody and she sends everybody their order. Um, typically, um, you know, it can take up to 30 days. Sometimes it comes quicker. Sometimes it doesn't. It just depends on, you know, what's going on with customs, what's going on in the world, things like that. But that's the buy in option that's going to give you these you know your the largest um i believe the largest way you can purchase them which is i always buy the 250 gross um which i believe is the biggest ones these are the ss 10s the ss 6s um they also come in 250 gross but the containers are smaller because the rhinestones are smaller um she does have other buying options as well as far as sizes Container wise, that she only has SS6 and SS10 rhinestones, I believe. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. And then the second option would be her buy now option. She does have a website where she has rhinestones that she has on hand and she keeps in stock. You can go to that part of the website, which is also linked in my description box right now, and you can purchase in, um, some rhinestones right now. Now, she doesn't have every color available. If you don't see the color on the buy now in the buy now store, then that means it's a buy in color. But she does have quite a few colors that you could purchase right now in her buy now store. And that's where I get my stones from. I, um, like I said, I only buy the 250 gross and I've been purchasing stones from her for... I, mm, it's been longer than a year. Has it been two years? I know it's been longer than a year. It's, been, it's definitely been longer than a year. Maybe 18 months to two years I've been buying stones from her. Okay, yeah, she was using vinyl. Okay, I will just use the other shirt for her things. 
I went to buy flock and it wasn't rhinestone flock. What's the difference? Um, rhinestone. So rhinestone flock is sticky on the back. Um, I have. Let me let me show you. All right, so I have some, actually, let me pick these stones up and then I'll show you. I have some, so this is rhinestone flock. This is like the HTV t-shirt flock. There is a difference and I'll show you the difference in one second. Let me pick these stones up so I don't drop none because I don't got time for that. I don't have time to be dropping stones. But yes, there's a difference between um, the rhinestone flock and like the regular HTV flock. And I will show you. That's actually a really good question because when I first started blinging, I thought it was all the same as well. So that's actually a very good question. Y'all, I want to eat some of these Twizzlers so bad, but it's going to immediately turn this live into an ASMR situation. And I know y'all don't want that, but I... I've been looking at these Twizzlers for like 30 minutes now. really slow i know i am okay so this is the rhinestone flock and this is ooh, not my hat doing the gangster wing um this is the rhinestone flock this is like the regular flock the um like t-shirt flock so the rhinestone flock is sticky on the back Okay, almost like kind of like premium vinyl. It's sticky. Like adhesive vinyl. This is the regular flock. Now it has the same texture. Um, however, it's not like if you were looking at it, this looks like the same texture as this right here. But this isn't sticky. This is the front. This is the back. This is HTV. So it's not sticky at all. You apply this with heat like you would puff or you would glitter vinyl. Regular HTV vinyl is um, how you would uh, adhere this to a shirt or a tote or some kind of fabric or something. Um, but that's the difference is that this is HTV. This has adhesive on the back. It's sticky. Um, if you were to try to use this, I mean, it doesn't like unless you like taped it to your desk. Um, and then even that, because it's so soft, it's not it, it's so soft. So if you try to like if you cut this and then try to brush in stones, it's so soft. They're not going to brush in. You would be better off using glitter cardstock if you were going to use anything other than this because it's just too soft even if you did try to like tape it down to your desk. Um, so that is the difference. Hopefully that answered your question. I brushed in this one, so I gotta brush in this one. 
I'm moving so slow. I am moving so slow. All right, let me let me brush this in. I got this one, and I got these two back here, and then we're done. Mm, I'm gonna use crystal golden for yeah, crystal golden for this one. The buy-in is January 25th through the 4th. Gavin is at my mom's house down the street. And uh, I don't want her to get to call me. Where are you? What is taking so long? I want so somebody asked me um do did I want to um have a studio now ideally to be to be perfectly honest I I want my studio to be in my house but number 1 y'all got so many kids If it was just me and my husband I would have plenty of space plenty of space I got so many doggone kids. And there was a situation with um, CJ, you know, when my studio was in my house, um, CJ had gotten into my craft room and, um, you know, he got a hold of some scissors and it was, a, it was a situation. So I was just like, the, it can't be here while I have small children. I just got, I got too much stuff, too much equipment, too much, it's just too much. I got too much stuff. And then once I started doing YouTube, because at first, you know, I was just, I was selling my crafts. I wasn't a YouTuber necessarily. And then once I turned into a, I guess, quote unquote, influencer, and a lot of these brands started sending me, you know, all these machines that I'm lying about. <laughs> <laughs> Once these brands started sending me, you know, a lot of these other machines, it just was like, it's it's too much. It's too much for my small children. Maybe when they get older, like my youngest is a teenager, maybe. But ideally, like realistically right now, it's just, I can't do it. I got too many kids. Too many small kids. Too many nosy kids. They nosy. They want to be all up in my stuff and... I don't got time for them to be blowing up my house. Now, my neighbor, my neighbor has a huge house, okay? The house next door to me, um, Smokey Robinson used to own that house back in the day. Um, and my neighbor, she, I don't think she bought it from Smokey Robinson. I think she was, I think she's two owners after Smokey Robinson. Um, but it's a big house, big house, really beautiful, really, really nice. Y'all, I want her house. She's older and her family. Um, I don't think most of them, I don't think most of her family doesn't live in Michigan. And a lot of her family are um, trying to get her to move. But I have already told her. Don't you dare put that house on the market. We will buy it. Oh, her house is beautiful. It's huge. It's only one level like I want. Like my house is one level. Well, we have a basement, but um, like there's no upstairs. Like all the rooms are on the main level. The, wash, the washer and dryer are on the main level, which is what I want. I don't like having to walk up and down stairs. 
the basement is really like for my husband and the kids so i really don't have to go down there ever and that's how her house is now if she one day decides to go ahead and sell us her house then i definitely could put my studio back in the house because she's got a lot of space but until then we gotta keep it separate and then i wanted to do like a she shed in my backyard and i have enough space in my backyard to do a she shed the problem is again i got too many kids <laughs> They got a trampoline back there. They got a basketball rim back there. They got a play skate back there. They got a little pool back there. So the kids have taken over my backyard with all of their stuff. So I can't put I can't put my um my she shed back there because all their stuff is back there. All right, am I going to use this gold orange AB? I think I am. Yeah, I'm going I'm, I'm to do it. If I don't like it, I'll just make another one. But the, um, the owner, because I, I really don't want to be in this building anymore. I'm in the... Um, I'm in a uh, two-story walk-up right now, um, and there's no elevator. So I'm on the second floor, and there's no elevator. So I'm always having to carry my stuff up the stairs or make my husband do it. Um, I really don't want to be in this building anymore, but I like the owner. Coincidentally, he acquired a building that is literally on the same street, basically, as my house. Um, so we've been talking about, and he has, and that building does have an elevator. So my lease for here is up in July or August, one of those. So probably moving, just not sure where, cause there's other stuff I'm trying to do as well. Some, you know, bigger things. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be going into a, another building or I might be getting a warehouse or some other little things I'm trying to do. I'm not sure yet. But ultimately, the I guess the question was, wouldn't it be easier to craft in my house? And it would. It absolutely would. As far as like driving and stuff, yes, it would, but... I mean, with my kids, it just don't work out right now. Funny for what? What'd I say? The, uh, Michael's Lady Shade. Oh, not my laptop about to die. Hold on. Hold on. About to have me on here like Marilyn. Let me plug in my laptop. Oh, there we go. Exactly. Exactly. It's so funny you said that because literally last night. So my oldest son has his own room. And then my middle and my youngest share a room. And then Gavin right now is sleeping in the bedroom with us. But 
my oldest having his he has his own room but he doesn't sleep in his own room no idea why he just doesn't so his bedroom has a full bed inside of it and then the the other room the boys have bunk beds the bottom bunk is a full and then the top bunk is a twin and essentially all three of them sleep in the one room so one of them will sleep on the top on the twin and then two of them will sleep on the bottom on the full and nobody's sleeping in my oldest room because he don't want to sleep in there for whatever reason so last night I had a migraine, so I was laying in my oldest son's room that nobody lays in because I just needed to get away from the kids because I had I had a migraine. So <laughs> I'm laying there, and I only was laying there maybe for about 20 minutes, and CJ and Levi come in the room and just like casually come into the room and lay down in the bed with me with their iPads. Don't even say nothing. Just come and lay in this full-size bed, right? Not not queen, not king. This full-size bed, just come and lay right next to me with their iPads. Don't say a word. And I'm just like, uh, this bed is not big enough for all of us. What are y'all doing? So I didn't even say anything. I just quietly got up, left them there. I got up. And I went and I laid on the couch. Didn't say anything. I just quietly got up, grabbed my pillow, and I went, grabbed a little blanket, a little throw blanket, and I laid on the couch. Y'all, not 10 minutes later, both of them were sitting on my feet on the couch with their iPads. <laughs> why that's why my office can't be at the house because they will just come and sit in my room for no reason no reason at all also their dad was on the couch too he was sitting on the other side of the couch they didn't come in and sit on his lap or sit with him or sit on his feet. No, they had to come and sit on my feet. And he was sitting on the couch when they came and got in the bed with me. And they have their, they both have their own beds. And our king size bed in our bedroom was completely unoccupied. And they had to come get in the fool with me. Oh, that stone flipped over. So, yeah, until my little munchkins stop following me around, I can't, I can't have my, what is that? Is that hair? I think that's a piece of hair on there. I can't have my office at the house right now. Yep, that's what it is. They just have to be close. They just they just got to be right there. And they do it so quietly. They just walk up, walk up with their little iPad and just sit right on your feet. Don't even say a word. Just just sit there. All right, we only got one more word to brush in and then we're done. And I don't even, I think I'm gonna go where I'm on this one because it's, uh, where I was on the, the outline.
this one is a different color because I was um I used the pink flock on this one. Um, I was trying to because I normally cut my flock on the mat, and I was trying to get my settings down to be able to cut without the mat. But I wasn't about to test that on the purple flock because the pink flock is gooey. My purple flock is not. So I wasn't about to test that out on the purple flock. So that's why I got two different color flocks. Both of them are linked in my description box, but um, I would say like if I had a favorite or if I have a preference, it's the purple flock. For those that are beginners, um, this pink flock, the, the formula of the adhesiveness on the back of it changed or something. Something something happened, and this pink flock is now very gooey and very sticky. Um, so if you order the pink one, just be aware. It's not you. It's not a beginner thing. It is sticky. It is gooey. This purple flock is Eve's flock, and so far... From the the rolls that I've been using, it is not sticky, gooey, gummy, none of that. So that's why I was like, I'm not about to test out my settings on the good flock. I will test it out on the sticky flock. Yeah. Mama's boys, daddy's girls. And I don't have not one girl. I don't have no girls. So they all just be right up under me. I never tried the blue flock. You know them boys are really mama's. <laughs> yeah, my oldest, he's about to turn 12 on February 1st. And he be trying. He will try to sleep in the bed. He don't try to sleep in the bed with us, but like he'll he'll try to because so he'll he won't try to sleep in the bed with us necessarily. If it's like me by myself sleeping in the bed, then he will, but he doesn't try to sleep in the bed with like me and my husband. Just me. And he will come and sleep on the floor, for sure. I've woken up in the middle of the night and stepped on him before. Because he was at the foot of my bed in the dark. I think I got something in my eye. Oh, my goodness. All right, y'all. We are just about done well with brushing and prepping now i'm going to press which should not take me very long at all normally i'll be done around nine o'clock but i went oh okay mm, 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 mm. it's i forgot this gummy flock i need some strong adhesion and this frisco may not do it this frisco may not do it Nope. All right. Let me. I'm going to have to turn my mat over. Y'all, it's not coming off. OMG. See, this that, this that gooey, gooey flock. Okay. Mm -mm. I'm not about to keep messing with it. I'll just hand place these that didn't come off. See, look, 
Do you see how these stones are still in here? Literally stuck to the template. And the wax pen doesn't even want to pick them up all the way. I didn't even think about that when I cut it out that I didn't have any of the actual KTM mask. Cause this, so the Frisco brand The, fr the Frisco brand is okay. Like, it's not, the, the, the issue is that it's not super sticky. So you just have to be very careful. Hey, everyone popping in. I'm trying to get this template done so that we can go ahead and start pressing. This one is stuck. Oh my gosh, this one is stuck stuck. There we go. All right. Let's get to pressing. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and switch us over to my iPad. Okay, so I'm going to press the puff first because my my press has already been um it's already on it's been on all this time um and then I just cut on my HTV romp to do our um rhinestones I'm gonna do the puff here and I'm gonna do rhinestones with the HTV romp because I'm not trying to uh experiment right now i'm just gonna stick to what i know because i need these for the um impressions expo this weekend okay so for this one i gotta remember what the colors were that i picked I think it was green. I think I did green for this one. And it was going to be gold. Yeah, so this is the confetti. I don't know if y'all can see that, but this, this gold confetti got like green in it. That's why I decided to put it on this green shirt with this green color right here. And then it was going to be... This is the gold metallic. This is puff. 
the gold metallic cuff. Um, okay, so what I'm gonna do, these are the three colors for this shirt. I'm gonna go ahead and get this prepped. And I wanna do this one right because I'm wearing it to the expo. So, don't embarrass me, Lint Roller. pre-press right now this is set to 280 for eight seconds um so this is yeah so we're just going to do an eight second pre-press the first layer is going to be our glitter so for this i'm not i'm not gonna adjust my temperature i'm just going to adjust my time for this glitter layer. I'm gonna put it on 30 seconds for 280. And because I'm gonna be pressing this another two times, that should give me the amount of presses that I need. Where's my t-shirt? I don't measure the size, but I do measure it from the top. So we're gonna center it. I do measure it from the top. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and line that up. I think that looks good. Yep, that looks good. All right, so I'm gonna press this 280 for 30 seconds on medium pressure. I love the shirt you have on, Mark. So uh, crafting away, this template is in my Etsy shop. My Etsy shop is linked in my description box. I love that, yes, I love this um, olive color shirt too. I ha I've made a bunch of them. Do you need to put a pillow between the shirt so the stones don't stick through the shirt? I've never had that problem. Um, I don't know if any of the other blingers have done that or had any issues, but I've never had any issues with it sticking. So there's our first layer, which is the glitter. Now, I gotta go grab a test shirt. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm actually going to do some test presses on this gold before I press my, this was a shirt I messed up. This is some puff. Um, the pink, it wrinkled really bad. I didn't like how it looked. So that's why I never showed y'all. But now I just use this as like a test shirt. So basically what I'm gonna do, metallics, to me are kind of fussy. I'm, I'm, I haven't been able to really perfect the metallic colors. So I'm gonna do some test presses first before I press my design. And I do have a full tutorial on this on my channel, but I'll just do this with you guys now. Basically, I'm just gonna cut a sliver of material here. Oh, 
and then I'm gonna cut this in half. Now, I'm. this is the silver metallic puff from Atlanta Vinyl, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and press this on 280. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do 10 seconds and see what happens. So it's gonna be 280, 10 seconds. I added my pressing pillow here, which is gonna give this firm pressure and we're gonna see what it looks like. The last time I did this on a shirt, um, it kind of had like a wrinkly effect. It wasn't smooth. So let's see. My carrier sheet is stuck. Come on now, come on. The carrier sheet was stuck to the plate. Okay, so that looks wrinkly to me. Let me see if I can show y'all. Hopefully you guys can see. That looks wrinkly to me. I don't like that. I don't like that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to give it a second press and see if it smooths out with a Teflon sheet. And let's see if we can get it to smooth out. Because I don't want that wrinkly on my shirt. I'm going to press it again, 280 for 10 seconds with the Teflon sheet. And we're going to see if it smooths out. Mm. No, that looks bad. I don't like that. Do y'all see it? It looks bumpy and wrinkly. I don't like that. So I'm going to take this other piece. I'm going to cut my time down to seven seconds. And I'm going to press this other piece. See, this is why you have to do um, test presses. Because if I would have pressed, you know, my full design, on my shirt, it would have been ugly. No, I don't like that either. This one, when I didn't cover it though, this one seemed, looks like it smoothed out some, but now this one is all wrinkly. So I'm gonna press them both without anything covered. I see this is what I'm saying. This, this metallic is fussy. And this was on seven seconds. No. No, I don't like it. Mm -mm. I don't like it. So, sorry, my camera's like backwards. They're wrinkly. I don't know if y'all can see them. I don't like that. So, what's, hmm. I'm going to cut this up to 310 for eight seconds. Let's see if I can get it to smooth out. But see, this is what I was talking about. The metallic is the metallic is fussy. Could it be pressure? It could be. It could be pressure. It could be the time. It could be the temperature. 
I can remove the pillow. We're at 285. Press it again. For so I'm at 285 and that was seven seconds. It might just be overpressed now because it still looks really wrinkly. So let me try. Let me try this. Two ninety for eight seconds. No pressing pillow, and I'm gonna press a new piece. So this is 298 seconds, no pressing pillow, which would be medium pressure. That one still looks wrinkly too, though. That, this one right here. My camera is backwards. That's why I can't get it. There we go. Uh, Yeah, this one right here. That still looks wrinkly. Let me give it a second press and see if it straightens out, if it smooths out. <sighs> Somebody Google. Let me Google this. Metallic puff. Gold metallic puff vinyl settings. Cause like if you go to the Atlanta vinyl website, no, that still looks wrinkly. Y'all, I don't like it. Maybe that's just the texture. Cause like, look at the other ones. They just look, I don't know. Maybe that's how it's supposed to look. Because even if you go, like, I've gone to the Atlanta Vinyl website a bunch of times to try to figure out um, settings for specific colors, and they don't have settings for specific colors. So I'm going to put it on 310 for 10 seconds and try that. And if it doesn't work, then I don't know. I guess I'm going to just have to deal with it being wrinkly. But I don't, um, let's see, gold metallic puff HTV vinyl. It feels like there's something in my eye. I'm trying to find some, uh, see if I can find some actual. Settings for the gold. Mm. Which I don't see any. I'm at 303, I'm um, 304. I'm waiting for this to get up to 310. So heat transfer warehouse website says 305 for gold for 10 seconds. Medium pressure. So let's try that. Even though this is not a, this isn't the wallet cut, but let's try that. So no pressing pillow. I'm at 310 for 10 seconds.
that one actually looks better. But I mean, it's not perfect, but it looks better than the other ones. This is the one I just pressed. That one looks the best so far. I'm gonna give it one more press and see if it smooths out. But I, I think I found the settings that I'm somewhat okay with. Yeah, it's not, it's not smooth. I mean, it looks better than the other ones. This one right here. It looks, well, no, it doesn't really, it looks the same. Well, no, in person it looks better. It looks a tiny bit smoother in person. I don't know. I'm going to try 315. Y'all, I'm determined to get this. Y'all getting an up close and personal. And see this, so I made a post the other day about, you know, Alexa says 8 to 15 seconds at medium pressure, but no heat setting. Okay. Google says, okay, Google says 320. All right, um, maybe I'll try it. I'll put it up to 320. We'll try 320. So I'm at 312 now. But I made a post, I think, last week where I was talking about just, you know, having to practice. Like, a lot of people think that, you know, I just woke up one day, started crafting, and everything for me always came out perfect. And it's, it's just not the case. We're all sitting here together trying to figure out the settings for this gold puff because it, it just, it doesn't look good. I just, I don't like that. And I'm on live, you know, trying to figure it out with you guys. But as you can see, I'm, I'm testing it. I'm testing different times, temperatures, pressures. And I'm just going to keep doing it until I figure it out because... This is a big design. You know what I'm saying? These are big letters. If these wrinkle, it's going to look goofy. So I really don't want that. And yeah, I probably should have did this off camera to not waste time, but I should do it with you guys so that you guys, if, if anybody is interested in puff or wanting to do, you know, gold, you can see me do the trial and error. And we're, we're learning together. But I don't, I do not be in my office with perfect results every day. It doesn't, it just, it doesn't work like that. For some reason, the last couple of times I've tried sublimation, my sublimation has looked trash. Like, I mean, terrible. Ghosting, ridiculous. We're at 320. So I'm going to do 320 for 10 seconds. No pressing pillows. So medium pressure. Um, my sublimation lately, I don't know what the heck is going on. Maybe I'm rusty. Maybe my printers, I don't know. But my sublimation prints have been looking horrible. That looks... That looks better. I'm thinking, so I'm thinking that maybe this gold is textured. Because it still looks textured, but it doesn't look bumpy. So this is the one I just did. It looks textured, but it doesn't look bumpy. So like this, like this one, this looks bumpy and just bad. 
this one doesn't look bumpy like that, but it does still look textured. So I think that the um, this gold is textured. But I don't hate that one. I'm going to try it one more time with another piece just to be sure. I'm at 320 for 10 seconds medium pressure. Yeah, even with the second press, that one looks that one looks way better than these ones. So, yep, that's it. I need to write this down. I need to write this down. Where's my pen? Hold on. I'm going to write this down. Give me one second. So, the metallic. And look, see, I'm writing on a scrap piece of paper, y'all. I'm going to put it somewhere else so I can find it. But I still write stuff down to metallic puff was 320, 10 seconds of medium pressure. Now, watch I put it on my shirt and it's wrinkly. Watch I put it on my shirt and it's wrinkly. Okay, here's my green shirt. And here's the gold. Come on, gold. Don't do me gold. Don't do me gold. Shirt a little bit. I need this to line up. Okay. Y'all, I'm going so slow. I'm, I'm moving slow tonight. I'm going to put some tape on the sides because I don't want this to shift. Where is my tape? Where is my tape? But yeah, I'm gonna just put two pieces of tape because I don't want this to shift when I close it and then not be lined up. And then also, you know, my auto open sometimes is a little aggressive. So, all right, y'all keep your fingers crossed. Uh, yeah, no. I'm, we're going to press it a second time. I'm not even going to show y'all. not even going to show y'all. Oh, wait, let me cut this down so it's too big. Bye, gold. Buy gold puff. You just ruined my life. Maybe the second press will fix it. Because, baby, I'm embarrassed. All right. Let's uh, layer this. And maybe the second press will <clears throat> smooth it out. Let's see. Come 
on, green? Yes, green. Mm, mm, mm. Green did what it was supposed to do, okay? Green did exactly what it was supposed to do. I'm going to press it one more time with no cover. Green did exactly what it was supposed to do. I'm, I'm done with this gold. I don't, I don't like it. I just don't like it. It looked like it did smooth out, but to be honest, I ain't, I'm not repurchasing gold. I'm going to show y'all again over there in the better light, but it looks I right. Green did what it was supposed to do. Okay. Y'all see green? Green was like, I don't know what gold talking about, but I'm here to do what I was supposed to do. This is gold. I may make this shirt again with a different color, not gold. It just looks textured, you know? I just, I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like it. But um, I'll show y'all again over there in a good light. Let's press this other shirt real quick. Well, these other two shirts. So we can get up out of here. I know I'm taking forever. But um, I got some silver too, and I haven't tried it yet because I tried the gold first and it just wasn't, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, you know what I'll probably do? I'll probably reach out to Atlanta Vinyl and ask them like, can you help me please? Cause this gold, it's not, it's not really giving. Or maybe I bought the textured one. Maybe I bought the textured one. Maybe there's a difference between a, a smooth one and a textured one. And maybe I purchased, you know what? I need to cut this out. I know my other colors do 280. Uh -uh, I gotta cut that down. Um, you know, maybe I bought the textured one and I'm just unaware, which is cool too. I just need to go ahead and place my order for the smooth one if that's what the case is. Cause I do know that there are puff vinyls that are textured and it doesn't matter how many times you press it it's going to be wrinkly because that's just what it is this is the brown glitter i'm gonna go ahead let me cut this time up i'm at three three thirty four I'm at 3 15 for 20 seconds i did just cut this down to 280 to press my other vinyl my puff vinyl, because I know that these other two colors, I've used them before, they're um, 280 for eight seconds. This brown is so pretty, oh my gosh. This brown glitter, you guys, this brown is so pretty. And then this is like a um a tan color. We are at 310. I need this to get all the way down to 280. Oh, this is gonna be so pretty. And I know I need my press and pillow for this one. Okay, this is just the regular um, color. So I'm doing it with my regular settings, which is <clears throat> 280, eight seconds, firm pressure. And I'm just waiting for my press to go back down to 280. I'm at 303 now. Yes, the green is greening, okay? The green is giving what it was supposed to give. I have gold from 405 and it did the same as yours. 
I just ordered it last night. I'll try it again, Benny Mac, 320 for 20 seconds. Let me write that down. I'll try it again because uh, I got some, so I'm, I guess I'm going to have to figure it out. Where did I put that scrap piece of... Oh, here it goes. Y'all, this hat, my head is itching, but my roots look crazy. I'm ready to take this hat off. I'm at 296. Um, I gotta cut my HTV back on and cut off. Let me go cut my HTV rock back on. But I really like this um this gold confetti color. I don't know if y'all can see, but it just to me it just looks like it has some green in it, which is why I put it on that olive green shirt and paired it with that um that lime green puff. Cause I just see a little bit of green in there. Even like in person, it looks even more like it has an olivey hue to it than what's being picked up on the camera. But I really, I really like this. This is my first time seeing it. I saw it at Michael's today. And this is the brown. Y'all, this brown is so pretty. I can't wait to finish this shirt. This brown is so pretty. And I got some, um... <clears throat> So my brand colors are like a really light yellow and a um, blush color. And I haven't found vinyl. Well, I haven't tried. Found vinyl yet to kind of match my brand colors. So I grabbed some of this. Um, it's lemon sugar. I got to find a color puff to go with it that would kind of like resemble my brand colors. I'll probably do that on live once I find a color. And I think it looks okay because like yellow and the blush color, they go together, but not always. Sometimes in, in some instances, the gold, I mean, the yellow and the blush don't really go together, but sometimes they do. So I got to figure out a way to get this to mesh with the um that blush color so I can make this in my brand colors. I just haven't sat down to find the, the color blush. All right, I'm going to go ahead and press this. We're at 280, eight seconds firm pressure. Uh -uh. Let's move that down, let's try that again. It wasn't in the middle of the plate. Yeah, this lemon sugar is really, really pretty. Oh, that's going to look so good. Oh, I keep forgetting I got to cut this down. One second. The reason I cut it down is because when you don't like the edge, this part here, it, it'll leave like an indentation in your puff. And then you'll have to press it like two or three times to get it out. So to avoid having to do that, that's why I'm cutting it down. I mean, it's still going to leave a small indentation, but the closer you cut it, the smaller it is and the easier it is to get it out. So, I don't do it.
Oh, wait. Hey, everybody watching. Hey, everybody popping in. Hey, everybody in the bushes. So unproblematic. So unproblematic. I have a small indentation right here from that carrier sheet. So I'm just going to press it one more time to get it out. So unproblematic. These solid colors be coloring, okay? Okay. Ouch, that was hot. Let's burn my hand. All right, let me cut this off. And here is this one. Do y'all okay? So unproblematic. I'm just I'm just saying, I'm not, I don't like stuff that stress me out. Okay, this gold stressed me out. But this, these solid colors, these solid colors do not stress me out. All right, I'm going to show y'all again over there on the big light. But we're going to go ahead and press our rhinestones. Yeah, that gold stressed me out. Ain't nobody got time for that. Y'all, don't come for my pressing pillow. I'm on the struggle bus over here. Um, and that's just what it is, okay? That's just what it is. Um, what am I putting this on? I'm putting this on a black shirt. I am. I'm going to put this on a black shirt. Um, I'm missing a whole bag. Hold on. Now. Oh, here it goes. It was right in my face. Okay. I'm just using a Gildan um heavy cotton shirt for this one. Where's my phone? So I can put the comments. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I don't know how these um, bling colors about to turn out. I don't know why I've kind of been like not really in love with my color choices lately. But let's see. I'm a visual learner, so I gotta, I gotta do it. I have to do it. I have to see it. I have to look at it. I have to touch it. That's how I learn. So if I don't like them, then I'll know not to use them again, but still got to try it out. The, where'd I get the browns from? Which ones? The the brown puff vinyl I got from Heat Trend. No, I got from um, Atlanta Vinyl. And then the brown Caesar glitter is, is Caesar. I picked it up from Michaels, but they do have it at Heat Transfer Warehouse, Atlanta Vinyl. Why do I feel like these stones moved? And I have an extra one. I 
Okay. No, they didn't move. But I do have an extra one. That looks straight enough. If it ain't, guess what? It's for me. Aw, oh, I just messed myself up. Some of these stones turned over at the top, so I'm trying to fix it. Oh, there's no lights there. Sorry, I just got quiet. I gotta make sure my stones are right. And some of them moved on me because I'm using this Frisco tape because I ran I ran out of tape. KTM mask. Okay. All right, 3.50.12 seconds. Um, let's see. Out of all your heat press machines, which one is best for beginners as a first purchase? Um, so it definitely depends on what all you plan on doing. If you're going to be selling, if you're going to be selling a wide range of sizes. So, you know, oh, I have one I didn't see. You ragged as stone. Um, it all depends on like, do you plan on, do you plan on selling to a wide range of sizes from small to 4X? If you do, then I would suggest a larger press to be your first press, 16 by 20, um, or even bigger to accommodate the 4X sizes. If you don't, then you can go with the 15 by 15. Um, I'm going to press that again so that extra fill can press. Um, so it really truly depends on, as far as sizing, it depends on what all you plan on doing. Um, if you are, so let's say, for instance, you're just talking about the kind of press. Um, I don't know that. I mean, I guess that also kind of depends as well what you plan on doing. My first press, I guess I'll just talk about my experience. My first press, I got a heat press nation 15 by 15. 
Um, the biggest size I pressed was the biggest size that I pressed was um, a 4X. And I did, I was able to press a 4X with a 15 by 15. Now, <clears throat> I only did a handful. I mean, maybe like five shirts. That's it. And the amount of time I've been crafting, I've only done a 4X maybe like five times. Um, I did a lot of 3Xs with the 15 by 15 and it worked out um so i would say a standard press if you plan on selling you should and, and you can only buy one press i would say your a standard press should be your first press only because you're not limited you can you can press anything with a standard press with these um auto presses sometimes you can get a little limited as to what you can press because as you can see this plate only lifts up about an inch so you get to having limitations and you don't particularly want that if you don't have any other press available to you Y'all remind me to buy my my KTM mask when I sit down because this Frisco is not it's not it. Y'all was this slanted? I gotta look at the template. Give me one, two seconds. No, it's straight. Okay. Um, but yeah, for your first press, if you have no other press, I would definitely say go with um a standard press because like I said, you won't be limited. Um, and if you have no other press to go to, no other press to use, you don't want to be limited in your materials. You don't want to be limited in sizing. You just don't want to be limited, period. All right, y'all, this word gets a little hairy for me. I'm looking at my laptop to reference where these pieces go because um, I choose violence for whatever reason every time I'm layering rhinestones. I don't know why I choose violence, but I do. I choose to layer the hard way every time. And I'm pretty sure this layer goes right there. And then, yep, this one goes right there. Okay. Yep. Pretty sure that goes right there. This, so this press right here, this is the Brick Brick Sun Press. They act, so they sent me this press. I did a whole video on it. They paid me for the video and everything. And then um, like two weeks after I uploaded the video, they said that they had to pull all their machines. So they're not actually selling them. So you can't actually buy this right now. I was like, oh, well, I was a waste of your money. <laughs> but okay. That's the first layer. And then this white one I have is an HTB Ron Auto Press. 
I've had this one since the kickstart. Pretty sure that's right. Pretty sure. Okay. Yep. I think I made it a little crooked, but YOLO, and it's my shirt. This blue one is uh, it's called Brig Brig Sun. But again, I don't even think that you can buy it right now because yeah, I definitely made this quicker. Um, I don't even think that you can buy it right now because like my video is still up and it's linked, but um, I don't think you can actually purchase it. They sent me a message, an email, like two or three weeks after I had uploaded the video. And they told me they were pulling all the presses because something, something was wrong with them. Oh, yeah. I did lose a couple stones, one right here and one right there. So I got a hit and then I lost one right here too. Probably because this uh, transfer tape is not sticky enough. But I'll just hand place it. So that one needs a topaz AB. And yeah, okay, that looks good. It's a little crooked, but that was on me. Because, like I said, when I'm layering for some reason, y'all choose violence every time. Not sure why, but I do. But these colors actually turned out really good. I do actually like these colors. Okay, so I need a champagne. Y'all, I'm still on live. What time is it? Lord Jesus. Ooh, hot. Okay, there's that one. That was Topaz A B. Actually missing two of those. I don't even know where these stones went. Did y'all see the stones pop off? Because I surely did not. They must have came off my transfer tape. Okay. I think that looks good. Oh my gosh, it's 10 o'clock. Because it looks like the one I had purchased, but I had to send it back because I couldn't even get it to open. I think that's what they said the issue was. Okay, we are all done. I'm going to switch over to my other camera and we're going to get out of here. My hat doing the gangster lean. Okay. My head is so itchy, but 
Mm -mm. My roots look bad, so. Is this behind? I think it is. Hold on. Yeah, it was. Okay, there we go. Okay. Um, okay. So I'm gonna show y'all this gold. I don't like it though. All right, so this is the first one we did, which was, I don't know if y'all can see. Let me turn that off. Y'all, that, that goal, it just, I don't know. It's just, I just don't like it. I just don't like how it looks. It just looks textured, okay? Like if you look at the green and then you look at the gold like next to each other, the green, how smooth it is and how pretty it is, it makes the gold look like throw up. <laughs> oh, I don't like it. I'm probably going to redo this shirt with a different color, not the gold, because I don't like that, but it does, okay? Um, I'm going to keep working with the gold and try to get it, but I think next to the green, I just, I don't like it, but these are the colors. Hopefully y'all can see. Hopefully y'all can see that, um, that confetti glitter. It just, that confetti glitter is really, really pretty though. Okay. So that's the first one. We're going to we're going to work on the gold, okay? We're gonna work on it. Mm. Mm. This one, I love this one. That brown, oh my gosh, you guys, that brown glitter. I'm obsessed with that. Obsessed. Um, but this is the brown glitter with the it's like two different shades of like tan or beige. This is a um they're both like a tan color, just different kind of shades, but I really love this one. And then the color of the shirt, it's not white. I know the camera may be having it look white, but it's not. The color of the shirt is a tan color shirt. It's really, really light tan color. But this one is really, really pretty. That brown glitter is so pretty. I absolutely love it. So love this one. This was the second one. Yes, girl, the throw up. That's what it looked like. It looks like throw up. I don't like that at all. We're gonna have to redo that one. And then here's our bling. Now the bottom create might be a little crooked because you know, like I said, I choose violets. But I liked how the colors came out. I wasn't sure if my color, the colors for the bottom one were going to be too doing too much, but I like them. So we have um, up here, there's an outline around um, created. The outline is Orm Dorado. The word two is in Orm Dorado. Um, the fill of created is uh, crystal golden and then the colors in create at the bottom are gold orange AB topaz AB and nope I lied I lied this is champagne AB okay so orm dorado on the outline champagne AB on the inside two is orm dorado and then down here at the bottom is is that a song missing it looks like it shifted. We have um, gold orange AB, uh, topaz AB, and then crystal golden. So I actually, I like how them colors came out. I really like that. So I wasn't sure. I thought these colors were going to be doing too much, but I actually like how they look and I don't know. Does create look crooked to y'all? The bottom one, the bottom word looks crooked to me. Mm. 
but I love it. I love how this one came out. And I love the, this brown puff. That green one. Mm -mm. My son, my my um Levi, my the one that's autistic, when he doesn't like something, he'd be like, mm -mm. no, no. That's how I feel about that green shirt. Mm -mm. We're going to have to redo that one. All right. Y'all, my head. My head just so bad. Oh, I got to come up out this hat. I'm telling you, as soon as I hit in stream, I'm throwing this hat across the room. Um, Let me see. I'm scrolling up. See if I missed any questions. I am chucking this hat across the room as soon as I get off of here. I think the gold is supposed to be like that. Is it? That's ugly. Well, I don't like that. I don't like that gold. The gold does look a little... <laughs> Not it has character. Girl, it looks like throw up. Um, so about the blue press, I said that, um, about them, like you had to send yours back cause it wouldn't open. I think that was the reason that they took them off the market. Cause they said when I got mine, there was a piece that was holding it down from opening all the way. Once I plugged it in, I was able to shift that piece out of the way so that the top plate would open. And I thought it was just. To be quite honest, my husband, when he brought the box up here, he dropped it. So I thought my husband broke it. So I didn't say anything to them because I didn't want them to get mad at me because my I thought my husband broke it. That's what it was. But like two weeks after, um, like two weeks after I uploaded the video, they said that there were other presses that were not able to open. So then I was like, oh, well, he didn't break it. That's just the issue that they have. So now that you're saying your press wouldn't open, then that must be why they took it off the market because you can't even buy them right now. So, I mean, whatever. I was a waste of their money because I don't refund on videos. Thank you, Demps. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. I'm looking. I don't, I don't think I missed any questions. You're welcome, Patrice. You know it's no problems. Girl, <laughs> the hat across the room. <sighs> I'm telling you. These roots are bad. Or I would have been took this head off. I can't. It's driving me nuts. You did an awesome job. I like when the mistakes are shown. No problem. We're going to keep working on this gold. Or I'm going to get my hands on some new gold. That's what I'm going to do. It. I literally couldn't open no matter how hard I tried. Okay. Yeah, I think that was the issue for everybody. Like I said, I thought I thought my husband broke the press. So I, I didn't even say anything to the company about the fact that, and I didn't say anything in the video either because I thought I thought we broke it. So I was like, oh shoot, I can't, <laughs> I can't mention that in the video because I broke it. And then, you know, I didn't want to get mad, but Apparently, it's a, it was an issue with everybody's press. So they said that they were going to reach back out to me when they um, fixed it and probably send me another one. So the, I like the press, though. Aside from that problem, that issue, the press was a good press. They just, you know, got to make some little kinks or whatever. But, yeah, y'all is late. I'm on here longer than um I should have been. So you're the only one with that press. <laughs> 
I think so. Or whoever bought it from me, basically. <laughs> I'm not sure who else got this breast because I haven't seen nobody else with it. I didn't even know she had it. Um, But yeah. Yeah, it's a good press. It was. It was a really nice press. It worked like, and I like the fact that you could adjust the pressure. It was a really good press. So once they work out some of their kinks, hopefully, you know, they come back and um, try it again because I liked it. But all right, y'all, I have to go. I should have been off an hour ago. My head is itching. Um, I will probably be, so I'm going to, like I said, um, in the beginning, I'm going to Long Beach this Thursday. I'll be gone from Thursday to Sunday. So I do plan on coming live on Monday, next week, Monday. Um, if anything changes, I will post it in my Facebook group as well as the community tab. But as for now, I will see y'all next Monday. Um... Post in my Facebook group what you guys think I should do next week. I don't know what to do. Obviously, I could do bling again, but I was thinking about doing something different. But I will see y'all next week. Good night.